Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day. I'm just off to the gym, so I've packed my bulletproof coffee and a keep cup. Just got a tablespoon of MCT oil and a tablespoon of coconut oil and some instant coffee. I've got a straw because I drink like three or four coffees a day, whether or not they're caffeinated or decaffeinated, but I just want to protect my toothy pegs. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to work today and I'll be packing my lunch, so it'll be really interesting for you guys to see what I will put in a Tupperware and take with me. And for dinner, I'm going to do something a little bit creative. This one's not vegan appropriate. I'm sorry guys but uh, I will be doing some more vegan recipes soon see you in a little while so I just finished at the gym and I'm gonna pack my lunch for the day so I finished work at about 4 35 so it's not a huge long day for me but I'll show you what I've got, which would definitely tide me over until dinner. I haven't eaten yet. I've only had a bulletproof coffee. So I generally try and fast for as long as I can until 1 or 2 p.m. And that way I can kind of get more of my calories and macros in for dinner because that's my favorite meal. But for lunch today slash breakfast, I just have made a salad. So... For those of you who saw my my story last night, I just made like a stir fry type of thing. I've added so to some cauliflower rice, which I just did in the food processor. I just added some broccoli, broad beans, asparagus, mushroom, um, some chili, some ground coriander, and some salt. And that like that was actually really really tasty, and it was just all sautéed in coconut oil. To that, I've added some baby spinach and I will always pack a little olive oil just to add some extra fat to my salad. For snacks, I have got a little tub of coconut oil which I will always add to a coffee or to a drink if I have anything out or at work, whatever. And a little baggie of nuts. The thing with nuts is they're so calorie dense and satiating so it's best to only pack what you actually think that you should consume for the day, whatever fits your macros. If you pack too many, they are so addictive and you're just gonna keep eating them. Um, so in here, I've just got some Brazil nuts, um, some natural hazelnuts and some macadamias, which I roasted in the oven with some coconut oil, rosemary and uh, pink Himalayan sea salt. Those flavorings will go into the other nuts, which is really yummy, but this should absolutely tied me over until dinner. I'm never ever usually starving for dinner, which is then gives me more control on what I'm having and better for portion control as well. But yeah, so that should be me for today and I'll see you again for dinner. Hello, so I just finished work and I'm about to start preparing dinner. So tonight I'm going to be making beef burgers but without the bun. So rather than using bread for a bun, I'm going to be using portobello mushrooms. It's all keto friendly and all of the ingredients in which I'm using for flavor are all keto friendly also. So watch what I do.
my dinner. So a beef patty on a portobello mushroom burger with just some spinach and Dijon mustard. The patty itself is super flavorsome. It's got cheese and salt and pepper and Dijon mustard. So you don't need a whole lot of toppings. I'll put the macros in the description box. And later on, if I'm hungry, but I doubt I will be, I'll make a little fat bomb. I've had fat bombs in my previous videos. So all I do is I have two tablespoons of coconut oil mixed with like half a tablespoon of nut butter of your choice. At the moment, I'm out of macadamia butter, so I've been using peanut butter, but just remember to track it and then put them in the freezer and let them set and top them with some pink Himalayan sea salt and they are so delicious. And just before I go, I just wanna show you guys something. So, so in here, I am dehydrating macadamias to activate them. They're way more nutritious once they're activated and much easier to digest. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Sorry guys, I lied, that's not the end of the vlog. I just went out to get a few extra things and I came back with some 90% lint chocolate, which I've already had two little squares of. Not gonna lie, I'll probably have another two squares. It fits my macro, so I'm gonna do it. And yeah, thank you again so much for watching for the second goodbye and I'll see you next time.